That's a week. The week is over. Oh, thank, thank God. God. <laughs> Jinx, you COVID. Yeah. So now we start a new week of idiocy, and uh, let's see what we can do. It's all a lot of fun. Anyway, so let me just make clear the idiocy, idiocy is on our part. Oh, yes. Not on the guests. Oh, <laughs> no, not. no, no. Not the guests <laughs> or anyone else in the community. Just here. In this little box. I'm starting my campaign, actually starting Monday, to give everyone a hug in the city of Northampton <laughs> and say I'm sorry to every single sentient being. Well, and maybe some insentient ones. Yeah, I was going to say, why <laughs> stop at sentient beings? Oh, and I'm not naming anyone in particular when I'm saying insentient if, or whatever. If you see Bill hugging a fire hydrant, just let it go. Understand that what I'm doing is apologizing. <laughs> um... Monday, start, actually all next week, and we'll just give you a kind of a flesh it out so you can think about what you want to watch, listen to, but uh, Rick Feldman, uh, who's um, I think the president of the Chamber of Commerce, um, was a mayoral candidate once upon a time. He ran against uh, Claire Higgins in, in, uh, in a competitive race, actually, probably the most competitive race that uh, Claire Higgins faced until this one. Uh, he's now giving, he's, he's, he's expressed his support for Claire Higgins in a rather interesting way. It's I wouldn't call him enthusiastic, but it's a qualified support, and we'll talk to him about that qualified support when he comes in on Monday. Um, also, um, uh, we'll be talking to Mayor Mike Tausnick about the, the solar field controversy. Now, we're all talking about how we need to, you know... Green it up. We're, well, we're, we're, we're green it up and getting rid of our dependence on uh, foreign oil and and high carbon consumption uh, energy generation. And the problem is that the alternatives present their own s set of difficulties and challenges, and some of them tend to be, um, oh, I don't know, in the abutter uh, issues, their uh, territorial issues, or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to talk to the mayor of East Hampton and see what, what his thoughts are. This is a particularly challenging time uh, when they're proposing the possibility of putting a solar field on a capped landfill, oh, there's that word again, uh, in East Hampton, um, in this is this being, of course, in the middle of a mayoral race, and I think they have four candidates for mayor in East Hampton with no primary elimination. So this is all, so recognize that uh, Mike Towson is coming in as a mayoral candidate and as the mayor. So, um, in what else? We, I forgot. We're going to have uh, Bill Attender, oh, Northampton's parking, parkings are in, about, uh, you know, so, some new uh, new developments you may have noticed here is, in downtown. Yeah, yeah. Bill, uh, Bill actually is another subscriber to green energy, reduced energy consumption, um, and he's, he's proactive in putting into place a number of systems that he wants to come and brag about. So we'll give him a forum in which to do that, and we'll come and brag about how he's greening up the Northampton parking system. How the hell does that work? And then uh, Kristen Golden of Cla Class, Class Action. Action. Cla Chris, Kristen Golden is the director of Class Action, and they have um, they have an event that's coming up over at Amherst Cinema that's in conjunction with a, a local premiere of Michael Moore's new film, Capitalism Love Story. It's very appropriate that this uh, that they be associated with this film. Uh, the Class Action is a group founded by Felicia Cal, and this group deals with issues that, in a sense, many things emanate from uh, uh, cultural bigotry, um, cultural racism, and things like that. All Actually, some of it creates classist issues and also um, kind of generate their own. Uh, well, they create classist issues, but he's struggling to say it. But they also, uh, classist issues are, uh, in and of themselves, a form of bigotry, too, that's kind of gone unrecognized. And... Chris and Golden will come talk about that, talk about their mission, and talk about their plans and events that they've got scheduled that, are, that will be of interest to you because, you know why? Because you're smart. I don't need to apologize to you. You're the only person in town I don't need to apologize to. Um, what else? Thursday we're going to be talking to uh, author Evelyn Resch, who's just written a book about how to talk to your teens about sex. Whoa! Oh, no! That's going to be a fun one. You know, it's really, it's information they don't need to discover until uh, their first moment involves uh, an accelerated heart rate and, and dilated pupils. I right? mean, come on, next week we've got it all. We've got <laughs> politics, we've got sex, we've got 
solar panels and parking. All the things that get people all hit up. Yeah, take that, you dim-witted bloggers. Oh, all right. no. <laughs> Here, the game go with another round of apologies. Uh, and I'm sorry. Um, all right, so please join us. We love it if you talk to us, and then we love it if you tune in and let us talk to you. Thanks. Talk to you. Bye. Bye. Bye.